The following is a paid program sponsored by the friends and partners of Faith Life Now. Today on Drenda. I have eyes on the target. All right, you got 30 seconds. Go ahead. Did you get it? We got it back. Refreshing stories bringing hope. Real people, real life. More of what matters. Drenda. Chaos, chaos and confusion, right, Amy? Yes. Uh, we all have chaos in our life and time stealers and time wasters and all those things that pull on you. Today we're going to be talking about how to get back the time. I wish I could go back and get all the time that I've ever wasted. How about you? <laughs> I'm sure so, everybody could say yes. that. And there are so many things pulling on us in today's society. I mean, you have to do this, you have to do that, and electronics and keeping up with it all. Facebook. And Facebook, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we just add so many things into our lives that it just crowds yes. out the important things. It does. And I think as women, we are so multitasked that yeah. we just keep adding one more task, one more task, one yeah. more task. Oh, I can do that. One yeah, more thing. Yes, yes. And before you know it, you're like in, you know. <laughs> My husband always says, no is a complete sentence. But we ladies <laughs> tend to not say no. No is a complete sentence. <laughs> that's what he always says, you know, but we tend so to is think. is he saying that to you? <laughs> like when he says no, it means no, and that's no, absolute. No, he's telling me I need to say, say no, no more often. Gotcha. And I, I think we as women could probably do that. And, you know, we yes. tend to say yes to everything. So yes. we're all inclusive. <laughs> we do like getting your Facebooks though and oh, your yes. blog, you know, yes. comments and all those well, things. Speaking so. of that, we had a testimony come in and um, this young lady says, I loved your program. I just found you by chance a few months ago. Uh, I've watched Joyce Meyer at 6 a.m. on ABC Family and one Tuesday I didn't change the channel like I usually do and there you were. So she says, keep up the good work. You're needed on TV. So Great. that's pretty cool. Great. Thanks Thank for writing you. to us. Thank yes. you. Yes, we want to be there. I want to be there for you. I want to be able to bring you answers that make you have the best life. And that's one of the reasons we're talking about how to deal with and eliminate chaos that's today right. and the things that are stealing from you. Mm -hmm. Get that time back so you can enjoy what really matters most. That's my passion. What matters most? We could spend our time doing a lot of things, but what is the thing that's going to be the most productive long range? You know, I found that in my life, as I've lived five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40, on out there, <laughs> keep going, keep going, <laughs> that all the decisions you make and what you decide to do with your time, it's accumulative. It accumulates mm -hmm. and it adds up and that's what really makes up your life. It's a snowball the Bible, effect, Yeah, right? the Bible says don't squander your time for it's the thing that life's made of. And as you think you are, the choices that you make, the thoughts that you think, the things that you do with your time, your relationships, those are gonna make the difference of whether your life is fulfilled, whether it's happy, uh, you end up with joy and good things to look back on. Good memories, good fruit, no regrets. Mm -hmm. You know, or at least if you have regrets, they're small regrets. They're not huge things that are devastating. So, and as a matter of fact, we have an amazing guest today. Elizabeth George is an author of over 60 books. Yes. She sold 8 million copies. Now, this wow. is a woman who's found time to write 60 <laughs> books. We need to hear from yeah, her, she right? She a little bit about I mean, time it, management, yes. I think. Anybody that can write 60 books, but the greatest part is these books are about mentoring women and women's lives and what we need to do and choices we can make 
Uh, she's an amazing lady and she's been married for over 40 years. Solid family, solid marriage, a career accomplished a woman. And I say this, you can do it all, but you just can't do it all at the same time. You just have to do it in different <laughs> seasons and, right. and knowing what season it is. But Elizabeth is gonna show us today how to cut the chaos out of our life, how to live in the moment, live in the season that's gonna make the right choices for us. So let's welcome to the Drenda program, Elizabeth George. <laughs> You're an amazing lady, amazing woman, amazing. And you've written a book, A Woman's Guide to Making yeah. Right Choices, uh -huh. one of 60 plus books you've written. So I think you know how to make right choices, Elizabeth. So I'm so glad to have you here today. You what has been probably, you know, you've got chapters in about prioritizing. What has been the greatest priorities in your life and how did you choose those? Okay, well, I think God gives us an order in Titus 2 that um, the elder women are to have certain character qualities and teach the younger women. Here's where I was 28 when I became a Christian. So I was that younger woman, teach me what? Love my husband, love my children, love my home. Yay. And that just anchored me because I was all over the place. I was getting a degree in marriage and family counseling and my marriage was falling apart and <laughs> I, my family was a mess. And, and uh, <laughs> there God just, whittled everything down. In Titus 2, 3 to 5, he doesn't ask us to do a thousand things. He doesn't ask us to do a hundred things. There are 10 things hmm. God wants his women to be doing. Oh, wow. So, that, boy, that it, he just easier. funneled it down. <laughs> yeah. So then you lay your, your days next to those priorities. So. You talk about getting a jump starting day, and I want to go over those 10 things, yeah. too. Yeah, I want to make sure we get to those, but you talk about jump starting your day. How do you jump start your day? Oh, well, I think it starts the night before. You just plan, have a general plan <laughs> to get up, uh, set the alarm, some backwards planning. It's just like I, I tell told my girls, you know, getting to church on Sunday starts Saturday night. You know, just uh, what are you going to wear? Find the Yeah, get in bed. Yeah. <laughs> so um, true. So, um, and Jim was a pastor all those years, so our, our Sunday mornings were very complicated, and you can relate, I'm sure, but it always starts with a plan. It's you nice. have to have a plan. What time do I need to get up to accomplish all of God's good will? Good. That doesn't mean it doesn't go crazy during the day, but at least you got the jump start. I like, yeah, I like what you said. You can control that. That's the That's, one discipline you've got to start is what time do you need to get up? Right. Get up on time. Right. Make sure you start the day. Uh, where you were in control of it instead of it controlling you. Although we all have days that didn't go like what we thought they should go like. And we just kind of have to turn those over to God and give our expectation to Him, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, well, what are, what are some of those things that you, I know we won't get through all okay. of them, but the, the 10, those 10 steps, okay. those 10 priorities. Oh, okay. What does God say? The 10 things He tells us to do. Okay, well, I could say it from memory. I could read it out of the scripture, but the God is concerned about our character. And in Titus, he talks about the older women. I've got this thing marked and I've got it memorized. And Excellent. I just Excellent. like to read out of the word. Yes, Let's I see. agree. The word of God is what changes yeah. you, you know? We can hear a lot of good yeah. self-help, a lot of stuff, <laughs> but when it comes from the word, it has, a, it has the way to cut and pierce and change. Yes. And it's in it's highlighted in pink because I call it a pink passage because it's it has to do with me as a woman. Beautiful. The older women are to be in behavior as becomes holiness, godly character. That's number one on God's list. Mm. Not false accusers, not gossips, not given to much wine, not out of control, uh, but teachers of good things. And right there, mm. you know, you can teach people a lot of things, but what are the good things? Mm. That they may teach the young women to be sober-minded, <laughs> have their heads screwed on, right? That's what I say. <laughs> That's one of my goals every day. <laughs> have your head screwed on right. Get your head screwed on right. <laughs> to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, wise, mm chaste, godly again, and keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God is not dishonored. Beautiful. So we Beautiful. all want to honor God. We're women after God's own heart. There are the 10 things. Yes. So it's character and it's relationships. And you just go on down and you are a social being. You have friendships you need to manage and that takes time. 
a lot of time you have you're a, body, a member of the body of Christ. You have a spiritual gift for serving in the church. So, you know, it just kind of, but it's in order. Yes, mm -hmm. I love, I love how do. you lay out yeah. how yeah. to make those decisions yeah. step by yeah. step about friendships. Yes. Which ones, yes. how to manage those, where they fit in your life. Mm -hmm. I love how you talk about finding your spiritual gift, how mm -hmm. much, uh, where the priority is of, you know, everybody mm -hmm. has something God put in them to give. Yes. You know, if they don't give of that, there's going to be some kind of uh, loss. emptiness, yes. loss. Uh -huh. There's a yeah. loss. A loss to them and emptiness in your heart. Mm -hmm. You're That's right. Good. Yes. So, so just, uh, um, just balancing it all out, realizing there are the seasons. See, I didn't write my first book till both of my daughters married. That's my hot button. You know, I am a that was fierce my choice too. mom. Yes, <laughs> you know? that's my and choice I, too. Women want to do everything, but they want to do it mm -hmm. all in this earlier part of life when children need them. Mm -hmm. yes. and you neglect that. You can't that. sacrifice one and for there, the other. There's no uh, drop-off point, you know. Oh, you're in high school now. You know everything you need to do. Here's the car. car here's the keys. Bye. Right. You know, <laughs> our biggest struggles came when they were college age, meeting the guys they might marry. Yes, that's the guys mom we and dad most, right? didn't want them to marry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that was a real wrestling match. But, you know, we saw them. I saw them all through that. I was mm -hmm. right there, wanted to be there, be a part of their lives and mm -hmm. uh, someone they could talk to. I yes. watch you too. Isn't it beautiful? You know, it a is, mother It is daughter. relationships, I mean, mother and daughter. It is yeah, beautiful. It is. And I have two other lovely daughters and two I sons know. too. And <laughs> I love them all. It's like, I just want to get them all together and wrap them right, up, you know? Right. <laughs> so, hey, you know, how did she write 60 yeah. books after her daughter's you know, it's not too late. After her daughters were grown married women, she wrote her 60 books. So priorities in the right seasons, right That's time. Right. When we come back, we're going to be letting the audience ask your questions and some of the questions they have about what do I do to get the chaos out of my life. Coming right. back. Every day, we're faced with choices, some that seem trivial and others that determine our future. In part of today's offer, A Woman's Guide to Making Right Choices, Elizabeth George reveals strategies to help you make those decisions with confidence. This best-selling author demonstrates a clear and practical process in consulting with God and allowing Him to direct your path. A Woman's Guide to Making Right Choices also includes study questions to help you put into practice the materials covered by author Elizabeth George. You'll discover how to say goodbye to worry and doubt, how to make the most of your time, learn how the use of prayer is reflected in our choices, and how God's job is to give counsel. Call, write, or go online with your gift of just $29 and we'll also include Drenda's book, She Gets It, on audio CD. In this seven CD package, pastor, author, and speaker Drenda Cassie shares from some of her most personal experiences to help you live life satisfied and whole. Listen to this incredible book on audio CD during your commute in the car or in the comfort of your home. Don't be robbed any longer by the deception of worldly values and standards. Ask for She Gets It today and recognize your real value as a woman of God. Request your copy and begin your journey to freedom. You want to stay up to date on everything that's going on? Like Trend on Facebook. Welcome back. We're talking with author Elizabeth George, author of over 60 books, a lady who knows how to manage time. And we're talking about cutting the chaos, getting your time back, right? <laughs> so right. now you say in your book, uh, A Woman's Guide to Making Right Choices, that you are a sticky note queen. You've got sticky <laughs> notes everywhere. Tell me about your sticky note habit. <laughs> well, my sticky note habit is what's urgent today. I don't want to lose uh, that, like, you can start doing your daily stuff and forget to visit the widow who just lost her husband. You know, or 
take care of somebody, you know, something that doesn't show, something that won't count, you know, but is, is more important. But the sticky notes remind me of the things each day that would, I believe, count the most in the kingdom. Mm, that's and, good. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. then I have a schedule and I have goals and I have plans and plan B and, you know, <laughs> all of that. Well, but well there are because of all things. of that, we, we've given the audience, we're giving them today oh these leave a message and <laughs> little notes to do and how to get things done. So we give you your sticky notes so you can start oh. doing your sticky notes too. But it is important. I know. I've always written scriptures even, put them in strategic yeah. places mm -hmm. to remind myself. <laughs> like you said, it's true that in our busy world mm -hmm. of accomplishment, mm -hmm. sometimes we're looking at the bottom line and we're not looking at the kingdom's mm -hmm. uh, bottom line. <coughs> what does God say is priority? Yeah. What does God say is important today? Last night I had things to do to get ready for this program, but I, my daughter was home and chicken noodle soup I made for her real quick and she was all happy about something. I thought, you know, I could miss this moment with her because I've got things to do or I'm gonna teach on priorities and I'm not gonna keep my priorities. Right. So I was like, I think I will spend time and I had such a lovely conversation with her and just those little moments, mm -hmm. they're important. So Don't those are the priorities it. you put on sticky notes. That's priorities. So yes. some of your sticky notes, yeah. what do they say? <laughs> well, obviously I, I pray every day, what is the most important thing I can do to make God my number one pro mm -hmm. priority today? That's and that's always be in his word and pray and live according to his word to the best of my ability. And then I'll say, what is the most important thing I can do today to prove to Jim, my husband, that he is my number one human priority, mm -hmm. choosing him over even my daughters and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And I'll just go right down the list. See, you made a choice for your daughter, time with your daughter. That's the priority person. And then, you know, I say, what can I do to, number one thing I can do to make my home a place uh, that represents God, you know. And so I'll, that takes homemaking out of the physical and puts it right into the spiritual realm done unto God, done to bless others. And I just go on to, how can I grow today? Because if I don't grow, I don't have anything to share with anybody. I don't have anything to say. I don't have a ministry. So what can I do today, one thing do today, to grow in Christ, to grow in faith, to grow a new skill, learning to speak to a large audience, learning to write, learning to share a devotional or organize the children's ministry or the nursery at church, just a new thing to learn. <coughs> and then what can I do in ministry today to the body of Christ? Mm -hmm. And uh, my friends will be in that category. And you know, just uh, the ministries at church, uh, um, you know, that's our life, but not forgetting to, to take care of the people at the church as well. So the prayer, Praying in priority order, living in priority order as much as you can. I know there's chaos <laughs> every day, but learning from mistakes, learning from what happened today that was good, what worked, what was a snafu. With everything that you did to you, you talk about the 10 choices, the 10 things. You've got it laid out where we're able to take each part of our life and look at the areas mm -hmm. that call for, like eight areas of life that call for goals. You know, and you talk about all the different areas that call for a goal and how to make those goals uh, about our body. Because our physical body is important too. It's not that all these things aren't important. It's just figuring out which priority flows where, right? <laughs> right. And knowing what the Word says about each of those priorities. Excellent. Excellent. I know our audience has a lot of questions <laughs> and I want to make sure I give plenty of time yeah. to them. So we're going to take some of those audience yeah. questions and, and just get a feel for, uh, you know, what women are okay. thinking okay. and needing. And you can ask personal things like, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> okay, good. let's ask some questions. Yeah. Uh, how can I guard and protect my God and prayer time from others taking it? Well, do it early. Do it first, um, do it in the dark. I mean, get up at oh dark 30. I, I call it beat the family up. Beat the, so, beat the, family, beat the family up. up. We're not talking about child abuse. <laughs> no, we're not. Get up before they do. Yeah. And then guess what? They get a spirit-filled mom, yeah. a spirit-filled wife. It's the upward look. This is the day the Lord has made. First words out of your heart every morning. Mm -hmm. 
I will rejoice and be glad in it. You've already looked up the song that says, uh, let the first thought I think today be praise to you. So there you are. You're rising up, but you're, you're focusing up in God. Beautiful. And you just get yourself going. Another one? Excellent. I'm a perfectionist. How do I know where to draw the line and, uh, you know, when to stop, when to, to be able to quit doing what I'm doing? <laughs> okay. Well, that schedule and that plan, if, if you can chunk it out. I realize today I, I'm a one-hour person. I, I'm trying to be a 45-minute person because work expands to fill the time allowed. But mm -hmm. just uh, when you have those priorities, if you're doing it in priority order and you're a perfectionist, and loving your husband, loving your children, taking care of your home. Uh, wow, more power to you. But um, see where the balance lies. See what is or isn't important about what it is you're being a perfectionist about. Uh, loosen up. I have a daughter who's very loose, and the other one is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be the right color paint. Got to be the, you know, right everything. and, and the, then the other one is just, she's loose. I like to be live right in the, between those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary good Martha, question. right? Yeah, there you go. good question. There yes, you, go. you know, being able to major on, on the majors. Amen. It's, it's important. That's well Some said. of the things I used to stress over were silly. Today they mean nothing. <laughs> they mean absolutely nothing. So majoring on what's going to be eternal and what's going to ma matter. Okay. Somebody told me that put yourself a year from now. Will this matter a year from now? Will it matter five years from now? Will it matter 10 years from now? And really not very much that we worry about will even matter a week from now. <laughs> so that's a good you know, perspective, keeping that big perspective. Yeah. So. Well said. Good. All right, next question. How do you keep the day-to-day -day distraction from keeping you from the main goal? Hmm. Distractions. Day -day distractions. <laughs> yeah. I guess I keep going back to the plan. If you have a plan, I always say plan A is always best. Follow your plan, which helps you to say no to a lot of the distractions, the, nice. the word no. Uh, but then there's always plan B. And if God brings plan B, you flex quickly with that because you've given him the mm. right to your day, the That's right true. to your life. That's good. But uh, I, if you can identify a distraction, that's good. It sounds like you can then eliminate mm -hmm. that distraction. Mm -hmm. So you stick with your plan no matter what, unless you know it's a God thing. And we do have those things where God says, no, this is my plan. That was yours. <laughs> right. Here's mine. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and those we submit to. Right. Yeah. Hey, how, how would you like to have lunch today? after the program and see you've already got your plan for the day. Say, not today, but let's do that the next time we, we go to the program or go to the audience or let's do it tomorrow. Then you're in control Excellent. of the plan. Mm -hmm. It's important to stay in that place where God's controlling us, but we're in control, right? Yes, and if you make the plan during prayer, you've got to believe that God's involved in that plan. He guided you to write those things down hmm. and commit yeah. in your heart to do that. Good. You thought it was important because he led Excellent. you there. Excellent. So it's valuable enough that we stick to it because we are confident that we've gotten God's word on this today. And so. we have work to do for God and we can't be distracted from that work. Right. So oh, that's live great. out the plan. And that's he's great. the author of time. <laughs> he gave us yes. time. And he's outside of it, but he gave us time. I don't know if it's as you get older, but it's so easily, easy to be distracted. So oh, easy. I I'm, I'm start one thing in the house, and then I start another thing, and it gets easy. So gotta we'll be right back with more from Elizabeth George and how you can cut the chaos. <laughs> Every day, we're faced with choices, some that seem trivial and others that determine our future. In part of today's offer, A Woman's Guide to Making Right Choices, Elizabeth George reveals strategies to help you make those decisions with confidence. This best-selling author demonstrates a clear and practical process in consulting with God and allowing Him to direct your path. A Woman's Guide to Making Right Choices also includes study questions to help you put into practice the materials covered by author Elizabeth George. You'll discover how to say goodbye to worry and doubt, how to make the most of your time, 
Learn how the use of prayer is reflected in our choices and how God's job is to give counsel. Call, write, or go online with your gift of just $29 and we'll also include Drenda's book, She Gets It, on audio CD. In this seven CD package, pastor, author, and speaker Drenda Cassie shares from some of her most personal experiences to help you live life satisfied and whole. Listen to this incredible book on audio CD during your commute in the car or in the comfort of your home. Don't be robbed any longer by the deception of worldly values and standards. Ask for She Gets It today and recognize your real value as a woman of God. Request your copy and begin your journey to freedom. talking about cutting the chaos in your life and getting back to what's important. And mom, you've written an awesome book. She gets it. The 11 lies that hold, hold women hostage. Maybe you feel like you're being held hostage by situations in your life, by the circumstances, by the things that come in and crowd your everyday goals. And uh, this book will help you. We have the audio version of the book, which I like because when you're busy, you can pop it in when you're driving in the car on your way to work, on the way home from work, and just take that moment to learn and invest in your life. Like you said, take time to grow. So I love that. Oh, and, and then her book is yes. amazing too. A Woman's Guide to Making Right Choices. And we couldn't even begin to touch yes. all the pieces and parts in here today. The wisdom. So much wisdom yes. in here that you've lived out. Um, but I love what you say about the importance of today. How important is today, Elizabeth? Well, I think I shared that I was 28 when I became a Christian, and I just almost vowed to God I never wanted to waste one more day. You know, I knew what it was like to be a loser, <laughs> you know, to, uh, you know, dabble through life or be self-willed or uh, without direction. And so um, there's a saying that says, every day is a little life. And we can't live tomorrow today. God has given us the gift of this one day. Now, what will we do with the gift? And at the end of the day, offer that back up to him. A day well spent. Yes. <laughs> a day well spent. Beautiful, beautiful. And you say, um, 1 Corinthians says, today's good decisions will give you the freedom to choose greater opportunities tomorrow. Yeah. So, like uh, an yeah, and today's good habits will give you greater discipline for choosing to accept greater challenges tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Today's good attitudes will equip you to choose to run the race greater for winning the greatest prize tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's, it's building, right? It's it foundational. Is. We're yes. building one precept, one mm -hmm. concept mm -hmm. at a time, line upon line, the Bible says, precept upon precept. Today, mm -hmm. I hope you're choosing, and I believe you will choose the greatest priorities, the greatest things, and have a good attitude. Enjoy your day. Make sure you start it with God, and uh, it'll finish right. Have a great day. Go to Drenda.com. Be sure to check out all the resources available. This has been a paid program sponsored by the friends and partners of Faith Life Now.